Decentralization is the key thing. For people who want to understand the economic reforms, it's crucial because this is actually the secret sauce. This is how you get to a dynamic economy without privatization. Because we made a mistake in our economic analyses over the last 200 years. The core feature of capitalism is not private property. The core feature of capitalism is competition. Right? Now, we know in our own country, because of Chrysler and Ford and GM and many others, that are every bit as inefficient or were uh, as Amtrak, that you can have inefficient privately held companies, non-state owned companies. Right? But you can also have dramatically efficient state owned companies like PetroChina. Right? And so the key feature is not private property. The key feature is actually competition. Now, how, why is that relevant for this? It's relevant because actually the way that China moved forward in a dynamic way in the economic reforms without privatization, without privatizing the state structure, was through decentralizing control and creating competition amongst the localities. Now, why is that relevant for investors in China today? It's relevant because if you're thinking about a strategy for your company and you're thinking there is this thing out there, China, you don't understand what you're dealing with because there is actually not just this thing out there that is China with 31 different level provincial units, but there's hun over 100 cities with population of more than a million people. Right? And so it gives you a real sense of just how dynamic this place is, but you have to deeply understand this place as a localism system. Right? So here are the cities in the United States with population over a million. Here are the ones in China. And so if you want to understand this, uh, this consumer world, you've got to look deep. And this is where the greatest amount of growth is. So this is something we run up against all the time, whether it's in the university system, in higher education, in business schools, or with executives, you typically think, well, if I want to be in China, my strategy should involve Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, maybe Shenzhen and Guangzhou is in there. But really, if you want to be in China, you need to go to Suzhou, Chengdu, Xi'an, Dalian, places that some of you have probably never heard of, but these are the places where the most dynamic capitalist development is happening. And usually, there are easier governments to work with. The Shanghai government is incredibly difficult to work with right now. In places like Dalian and Xi'an and Chengdu, I mean, there's a reason why Intel picked up stakes and moved from Shanghai to Chengdu. Right? And it's not because the airport there is good, I can tell you. Um, it is because that is where the action is, and it's there. they're adding 1,000 cars a day on the roads in, in Chengdu. Uh, so that's really where the interesting action is.